Spring is almost here, and you know what that means. Longer days, the trees and flowers are in bloom, and it's time for fresh starts. That includes our menus. Lifestyle expert and busy mom, Brandy Malloy, joins us now to share her own tips to brighten up our spring meal plans. Good morning, Brandy. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yes, and I love all the fruit you have in front of you. It just looks very springy, too. So how do you prepare for this time of the year? Well, for me, it's all about reset and refresh. The same way that I like to clean my home, I also like to refresh my fridge and make sure that I have all those delicious in-season ingredients. And it really helps me feel like I'm ready to tackle all the celebrations coming up. Oh, that is great. And you know, we often have good intentions. We'll buy fruit, but sometimes we, we stick them in the back of the fridge and we don't get to use them or eat them. But you have some easy, simple recipes. Go ahead and share them with us. Yes, all of my recipes are so simple. Let's start with my lemon loaf. This is so delicious. It features freshly squeezed sun-kissed lemon juice and zest. I make a delicious glaze that I pour right on top. This is one of my favorite on-the-go breakfast treats, especially since these lemons are in season all year long. And I love to make like a little mini loaf for friends, teachers, neighbors. So good. If you're someone that has a sweet tooth, I recommend my Cara Cara orange French toast bake. This has a delicious crumble on top. I love making a big casserole dish of this for Easter or for Mother's Day brunch. That would be great to feed your family. And this one's so easy. My five and three-year-old have helped me make this before. For those looking to zest up their salads, my bright spring salad is just, I mean, a beauty, but also filled with tons of in-season produce, like those blood oranges, which give it that rich orange and bold raspberry flavor. I have watermelon radish in there, spring peas, asparagus, feta cheese, and then I make a homemade citrus vinaigrette. I usually double this because I love that dressing. I pour it right on top of the salad. It's not only a crowd pleaser, but it just tastes so good too. Oh, those are great ideas and again, ways to use all the fruit we have. Don't let it go to waste. Now, it's also a good time of the year to, I guess, thank the growers that make all this possible. Yeah, Susan, it's all about the growers. You know, Sunkist is a cooperative of family-owned farms. Over 1,500 citrus growers who've been passing down knowledge for many generations. National Sunkist Citrus Day is officially March 1st, and this year they're celebrating 130 years and the dozens of flavorful, sweet, and juicy varieties grown by California and Arizona farmers. And what better way to honor those growers than with the launch of the Sunkist Legacy Heirloom navel orange. These are in store right now. Be on the lookout for this beautiful bag. They have that peak of season sweetness that will have you celebrating every single bite. Oh wow. And, and they taste good, but there's also health benefits from eating more of these fruits. Talk about that as well. Oh, absolutely. There are so many health benefits from citrus. You know, I love to keep my citrus on hand all the time. I keep it in the refrigerator because it will last for weeks and weeks. It's so great just to add a little bit of zest or juice to any dish or even to kind of update your leftovers. My favorite is the Sunkiss Cara Cara Orange. That's the pinky orange because it has that beautiful pink color. I love that. It gives you 100% of your daily vitamin C in just one orange. Also, the Mineolas are great. They're a folate front runner, giving you 80% of the recommended value. And even better, citrus overall is a superfood. In fact, the National Association for Diabetes has called citrus a superfood. So keeping it on hand is the way that you're going to add it to every meal and you'll be able to use it and enjoy it. Yeah, I like that idea. Where can we go if we want to find maybe some of the recipes you talked about or learn more about the different types of citrus? Sure, you can head on over to sunkiss.com. Brandy, thanks so much for sharing this with us and getting us all ready for spring. Oh, good. Mm. Happy to. <laughs> yeah, aren't we thinking spring thoughts no. now after seeing all of those fruits? I love lemon in desserts. Yeah. It's just such a bright mm -hmm. flavor. I, I was saying to you, my grandmother used to always love lemon pound cake. Mm. And every time Sounds every good. time I eat it, I always think about her. Um, it, yeah, it's, it's a really special memory, uh -huh. but I don't, I don't know. I just, I love it in desserts. Mm -hmm.
I really do. And it's perfect. You know, we're almost into spring, and if you're mm -hmm. kind of got the... I don't know, the winter blahs, because we really haven't had much of a winter, but it's just so dreary looking right. most of the time. A little bit of fruit mm -hmm. um, always helps perk everything up, especially uh, citrus like that. I'm going to check out some of her recipes. They did look I like really the lemon good. cake idea. Yes, mm -hmm. I always... Um, I do a lemon blueberry cake, too. That's really good, because I like those two flavors together. I just think they... I don't know. Uh -huh. I think they pair well. You need, I like, you need to make that on Studio 3 and share it. I, I will do that one day. I, um, I like that she used blood orange, too. That's yeah. got a really good flavor mm -hmm. to it. Well, after the break, there are lots of...